Hey everyone, welcome back. So recently I had a request to be shown how to tune a drum. Uh, the other day I bought new batter heads for my entire drum kit, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you how it's done. So I'm going to completely detune this drum head and we'll, we'll get started there. So what I'm gonna do is just turn the, the drum key counterclockwise. When you're tightening or even loosening the, the lugs, work on one one lug and then for the next time you work on a lug is the opposite on the opposite side of the drum you need a drumstick which you should already have a drumstick if you own a drum kit makes sense you need a drum key this is something you should also already own so these are, these things are nothing new. However, there's one optional piece of equipment that you might want to get. This is called a drum dial. When you place it on your drum head, it tells you specifically the tension of your lug, and it attributes that to a number. So in that way, you're able to get the same exact tension between all your lugs uh, quickly and easily. So. I highly recommend it. They're about $80. Um, I purchased this one about a couple years ago, so the price may vary a little bit. But, but yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna get started and do it the old-fashioned way. But I will check my work with this drum dial, just because I have it. So what I'm doing is finger tightening each lug by hand, and you want to get it to a point where you can't tighten it anymore. So it's nice and snug and it gives you a good starting point to, for when you start using your drum key to further increase the tension on the lug. Okay, so now this is where we're at right now and this is what it sounds like. Okay, so now we're ready to start tightening up each lug. So you just choose one, it could be any one, and what I like to do is a half turn on each one. And you'll find that as you're doing this, the drum, the drum head, some other lugs are gonna come more loose. So you just kinda gotta go, gotta go maybe a couple rounds and just Get it to a point where they're all generally the same tension and they're all happy. So now this is what it sounds like. It's still a little bit, a little bit too low. So now what I'm going to do is just give it a final uh, qu uh, quarter turn on each lug. Okay, so the next step is with your index finger, lightly place your finger and hold it in the center of the drum. And with your drumstick, you're going to just lightly tap near, uh, right in front of one of the lugs. So you hear how it produces that overtone? Now you're gonna compare that with the lug next to it. So you hear how this lug is, it sounds like it's much more, has much more tension. So it's a lot, the pitch is a lot higher than the uh, lug to the left. So what I'm going to do is just simply do a maybe a quarter turn on the lug that is loose and just tighten it up a little bit. And we test again. The next thing we're going to do is the lug that I just adjusted, I'm going to go to the opposite side. And I'm going to test it with the lug to the left of that, or to the, to the other side of that one. I can hear that this lug 
is lower in pitch than this one. So I'm going to adjust this lug a little bit at a time. And I'm just doing the same with all of the lugs here. Uh, let's hear how it sounds if I just strike the drum in the middle. Okay, so it's a little wonky. So I'm going to I'm going to what I'm going to do is loosen them all a quarter turn and go from there. And we're going to repeat that process. For me, it's a little bit of trial and error and finding what I like. So my personal preference when I'm playing on, on toms specifically is I like the toms tuned um, much lower in pitch than, for example, the snare drum. So the next thing I want to do is talk about the resonant head. So what you want to do with the resonant head is make sure that it's slightly lower in pitch than the batter head, so the side that you're hitting is always a going to be a little bit higher in pitch than your resonant head. So let's take a, take a look at how my resonant head uh, sounds and what kind of pitch it's at. So let's just give it a strike in the middle. So it's it sounds like it's a little bit higher in pitch, so what I'm going to do is um, just tune it down a little bit because I've played these drums for a while, and depending on the conditions and temperature of your room, it's you're going to get fluctuations in the tension of your drum heads. So I'm just going to tune it down a little bit, maybe a quarter turn, quarter turn per lug. So already I can tell that that is going to ring a lot nicer than it, how, how it was. So it's a little bit lower in pitch too, so that's good. So I'm just going to do a quick test on... I really like how that sounds, so I'm going to actually keep that. But again, just a couple things to remember. When you are tuning your drum, start by finger tightening the lugs. When you're adjusting the tension of the lugs, you want to adjust one lug and then the opposite side next. You don't want to be tuning a drum here and then adjust that one in tension and then that one and then that one. That's no good. You're going to get a very uneven drum head. And it's going to result in more time tinkering and finding that, finding that tension that you like with your drum head. So 
The last thing is when you're, when you're making adjustments to check the pitch and overtones of each lug to get a good sense of where, how even the tension is throughout the drum head. And finally, we're gonna check the work that we just did with our handy drum dial. You place that here and right in front of the lug and it'll give you a reading of what your tension is. So I can tell that this, this lug is at the tension of 70. So generally, I wanna make sure that they're all around 70. So, yep, we're at 70 here. We're a little bit higher there, so you can make a small adjustment so that it gets to 70. And finally, the last two we're checking. This one is a little bit higher. So as you can see, that's how you can tune the drum silently. I don't need to be striking the drum to hear it. So right off the bat, I can hear that the drum dial actually did a, a great job in kind of finding that one problem lug that I had. Um, probably just didn't hear it by ear. But in the end, using your ears is the best to develop your musician's ear and to hear when your drum is, is out of the tune, out of tune and not the way you want it. So um, I recommend getting one, but it's not the end of the world if you don't have one. These skills that I just uh, talked to you about today can be used on any drum for, for your kit. So it can be used for your snare drum, for your floor tom, for your other rack toms. Uh, based on your preference, you can get whatever kind of tuning you want. As a general rule though, you want the resonant head a little bit lower so that the drum can breathe. So I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you learned something, and uh, I'll catch you next time for the next drum tutorial. I got lots planned, lots more music videos coming your way. Uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, have a great weekend.